Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Whitling's Prototype. We are on episode number 34 today, and we're going to try and be fixing, going to try to fix the cube rotation. So, I think that maybe a reimagining of our current solution is going to give us a little bit of benefit. I also just a few moments ago had a great idea instead of keeping my camera in perspective <clears throat> view which is my normal view i've always used unity with the perspective camera if i go to isometric and i hold alt and drag uh how did i do that just straight down now i can see what the world is going to look like when i flip the camera over Right? And so now this world that we see is from the upside down perspective. And that is definitely something that I want, something that will help me, you know, imagine which way the positive axes are. Hmm. Oh, 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 it's not what I want. So let's look at our camera. Offset transform. <clears throat> so what I'd like to do is compare how our camera offset transform and our cube rotate direction transform differ. We're still not flipping this. Oh, and everything is broken from last time. Okay. <clears throat> so my goal right now isn't to get it working. Per se, it's to get the cubes consistent. Although it's easier if it's working. So let's see, what did I modify here? Is easing, begin ease, and in begin ease, <clears throat> we calculate cube rotation direction transform. Okay. See, I do believe that this is wrong. Or at least that we're going to have to do two different calculations here. And I do believe that this was a cross of relative forward and relative left. <clears throat> That's a good lesson. Um, if you're breaking stuff and testing, once you're done testing, make sure to change it back. So it seems like my up and down are backwards. but that's the only thing that's wrong. And I do believe it's our cube controller where we've got all this silliness um, up and down. Okay. Good. Cool. <clears throat> um, so let's flip our camera. And what we're doing, remember, is we're building this Um, we're building the left, which should be rotating positive Z currently around the X axis, or negative Z around the X axis, which it is. Oh. But if I spin this, 
Now W should be rotating around. <clears throat> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I think that the solution here, instead of putting all of this extra stuff in here, we should just calculate this rotate direct transform correctly based on the current up vector of the camera. So let's make sure that that's working again. Cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Always test test uh, old things every once in a while. So let's see. <clears throat> Currently, up. So we're taking this transform here. And we're creating this transform here. So if we spin this around, We want W to go this way. Okay. <clears throat> so once this is done rotating, or maybe even on begin flip, we should call this function flip rotation easer on begin calculate cube rotate direction transform oh oh <laughs> good old lambdas always tricky Now that's really interesting because <clears throat> ah, we calculated it on begin. We want to calculate it on end once it's done rotating. This would have worked previously. But I think what happened is when we started flipping, we rotated it back. Yep. And so this rotate back was essentially recalculating the rotation transform on an unchanged quaternion. So let's watch our cube rotate direction. Okay, so that flipped it. Oh! 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 yeah, buddy. That was it. That was it. It was working the whole time. I just never recalculated once the flip was done. Oh my goodness. Huh. Well, shoot. It works.
I'm not sure what to do now. <laughs> I really thought, what is this? 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't even sure if I should name this episode Fixing Cube Rotation. I was worried, oh man, there's a whole bunch of edge cases, and oh, maybe I won't be able to fix it, maybe I'll have to change the name after I record. Nope. Done. Ten minutes. Holy goodness. Okay. So, what's next on the list? Um... Oh, down isn't implemented yet. Sure. Let's do that. That will be nice and easy. We can get rid of all of this. Things are working happily now. Let's do an else if. I don't want a user to be able to press up and down at the same time. Negative 80, 180. Cool, so I can't spin the camera when we're doing the flip. Can I spin cubes? I can. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. That's a design decision. So what I could do is call the big function here instead of at end. That seems more consistent with how we've set this up, right? We've got um, with our cubes, when we rotate the camera along a vertical axis, then we immediately, let's make a note about that. Immediately change cube rotation direction. So we're going up and then a flip. Nice. Can I zoom while I'm doing this? Nope. What if I flip like right here? Man, yeah, that looks great. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. That's done. <laughs> Oh, what a good day. What else do we got? I made a big list over here somewhere. Mmm, mobile input. Level flyover. Still not sure what I'm going to do about follow mode either. So those are two very good points. Maybe we could start doing some work on mobile input. I'm not sure if that falls under camera work. Um, because it doesn't actually involve the camera moving. So maybe we can move this somewhere else. Level fly over. That could be something customizable. Although I'm going to have to read up on splines because what I'd like to do is I'm probably going to reference a guy, his tutorials, cat-like coding. Um, his tutorials are fantastic. And he does a really good one talking about 
splines and having a spline manipulator widget in the scene itself to make it really easy to just build those splines out. Um, we could look at follow mode. How are we even going to do follow mode? I might even like create a completely separate component for follow mode. Wait a minute, there's something really important here. So I can see this face of this cube. I can see this corner. I can see this corner. And I can see this corner too. Okay, good, good. So our camera setup does allow viewing from all eight corners, which is really important, I feel. Maybe a 45 degree turn. I didn't, didn't I try a 45 degree turn and it, it was very, very bad? Yeah, that was very bad. Because our cube rotation direction needs to snap itself to the nearest 90 degrees. We can't just rotate that by... Can't just rotate that by 45. But everything else should be fine. Zoom, flip. I mean, this view looks pretty darn good. I think a 45 degree thing would be nice for us. We make a big path here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> wrong, um, wrong start point. That's fine. <laughs> I like the 45 degree um, subdivision, I guess we could call it. So let's get that working. <laughs> and like I mentioned, the only thing that we need to change is making sure that this is locked to uh it seems a little bit cheaty no what I was going to do is just have an integer. Let's just try it out. Private int test degree. All 
And so here we could say test degree plus equals Hmm. Let's do it this way. Rotation amount. And we can copy pasta this here. The only difference is this negative versus this positive. So we've got this test degree that's slowly incrementing or decrementing. And I'll just say if test degree mod 90 equals 0. Or let's just do an early out here. Does not equal zero. Return. So this is essentially an extra check that says only recalculate the rotate direction if Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am on fire today. Oh. Oh, yeah. So we can't have it. Essentially, what happened is I moved to here and it recalculated this to be up, which is correct. That means if I move to the right, up is still fine. <clears throat> but moving back to the left, this we still haven't reached that goal of a 90 degree rotation to recalculate the direction. And that's not what we want. So let's just do if it is less than 90. and greater than negative 90. <clears throat> and if this if it gets past this check, we know it's time to reset. And so oh, that's still not going to work, is it? I don't know. Let's try it. I don't think it will quite work. But this is a nice and simple solution if it, if we can get it doing stuff. Oh, God! What happened? It's broken now. Oh! This failed! <laughs> or test degree equals zero. So let's put some extra parentheses around this to say, this is one logical condition in which we want to return, or this other logical condition. <sighs> oh. Ooh, ooh, this is real bad. This is all bad. Hold on a second. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's go to the drawing board. That always helps. So, we have these axes. These diagonal axes. And I would say that 
this is our A, oops, A and A, B and B, C and C, D and D. So we already have A, B, C, D working. <clears throat> and so we need a way to say, if we are adding, or if we're rotating clockwise, and the camera's facing up, then don't recalculate. But if we're on a spoke of this and we're rotating anti-clockwise while the camera is facing up, then recalculate. Based on, and that's the tricky part, we can't just say, oh, the camera's going here, use this one. We have to say, oh, the camera's going here, use this one. And so that makes it a little bit tricky. <clears throat> and of course, if the camera's flipped, then we do the opposite. So... Hmm... So let's make a note that this is the camera top. So we know right now that this is 0, that this is 90, 180, and 270. Hmm. I'm going to go back and delete that code to make sure I didn't break anything. I don't think I would have broken anything. Nice. Very nice. Okay. We could possibly just store all of this data. Is that a bad idea? I mean, the simplest way to do it would be to have eight transforms, right? And then decide which rotate transform to use based on the camera's position. <sighs> well, hmm, that's interesting. If we think about it in a 3D space, if this is my cube, and then this is my selected cube, then essentially what's happening is we've got internally eight subcubes, right? So, like, this is the top right cube. <clears throat> and then we've got, like, a bottom right cube. And so, if this is our center, then the direction of the camera offset 
is going through the center of one of these eight subcubes within our selected cube. And we could use that to index into some sort of array of transforms, <clears throat> but that seems like so much work. That is a lot of work, storing all of that. And we've already got our live rotation stuff working. Okay, okay, I think I might have a plan here. So if we have some extra variable, this is our starting camera offset, which is A original, right? And this is zero. So if we're on camera top, and we'll call this um, root amount. And then maybe we could have like a rote limit. Ah, but even then, oh geez, that's bad news. What if we flip it while the player is looking here? If we flip it while the player is looking here, it's actually going to be this C that we need to recalculate from. <clears throat> Hmm, this 45 degree thing. But I really like it. It looks so good. And I think it would allow the users to decide, like, oh, how do I want to view this level a little bit better? I think most people would probably play like this, honestly. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that looks so bad. <laughs> How am I doing on time? 30 minutes, okay. I need like a little stopwatch over here so I don't have to keep popping that up. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> I'll move the starting position of my camera. What are you doing over here? Much better. Okay. It's not a perfect view, but, you know, it's pretty close. Pretty darn close, actually. So yeah, this throws a whole monkey into our wrench. We've got our prime axes. Could I just look at the forward of the camera? We might have to do this silly thing over here. <clears throat> Maybe not in so many words, but... Calculate... Cube, no. Camera offset transform forward. Negative, negative. That makes sense. 
Oh. Hmm. Well, that's a really easy way. Camera offset transform. What's forward if I flip this? It's one, see? Yeah, it's totally opposite. Oh, jeez. Works perfect on 90 degree angles. <clears throat> And if we go to the right, oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, right. The going to the right was this bit here. Okay. Here's a bit of a hack. No. Let's put this back in. Ah, shoot. So I think it's just this check here that we really need to massage <clears throat> and get it to be our friend. And I do think we're going to need different code for up and down. I've said that a whole bunch of times, but I've ended up deleting almost all of that code. The only thing that matters is this rotation bit here. Which is... Right. One case at a time. Let's get it working for top first. <clears throat> so test degree starts off at zero. If test degree is less than zero, then we know we need to rotate everything negative 45 on the right, calculate, rotate back. And if test degree is greater than or equal to 90, the usual. Hmm. Okay. So we're not even handling rotating to the left yet. This should just work when rotating to the right. So, oh no! <laughs> um, we need to we need to pull this into its own function. Okay. 
calculate cube rotate trans direction tra transform. Because the function that we call in awake right here, we always want to do that, no matter what. Calculate cube, rotate direction, transform. So we'll just keep that name, and then we'll make a new function. <coughs> Handle partial cube rotate direction transform. That is a function name. So we want to call this handle partial. This one isn't handle partial. This is our flipping. Oh, our flipping will need to handle partial. Maybe partial is not a good word for that. Camera offset direction. Okay. Cool. And then now the test degree is 45. <clears throat> Everything is happy. And I rotate to the right. Oh. Print changing rotate direction transform. Oh, it's not what I wanted. Rotate, begin, handles partial. So that is after begin ease. Yep. So that happens after we set our test degree. Normal. Okay. And then boom. <gasps> didn't happen. It never happened. What? I'm rotating by negative 45. Oh, shoot. Shoot. These darn rotations. Boom. And then after this, there we go. Camera change direction transform. It's working. So this should be 45, same. And this should change again. Good. What if I flip a rune? Okay. So the flip is not happy, which makes sense because we're not handling that yet. That should change. Okay, so we got it going to the right.
So I guess if test degree is greater than 40, greater than or equal to 45, We want to rotate everything 90 on the right, calculate and roll back, rotate back. And then we'll set test, oh, test degree equal to negative 45. That seems right. Rotate everything 90 degrees to the left. And this is only for the top view. <clears throat> Camera offset transform rotate around vector 3 dot up. 90, calculate, mm. oh geez, I don't know if this should be 90 or 45, let's see. Oops. Oh, geez, there we go. Not super confident about this working. I should definitely put a print in there. <laughs> right? Um, print. Let's see. Crossed left threshold. So that means if I rotate left first, it should immediately cross the threshold. Cool. Not quite, okay. Let's think about when this code happens too. That could be a problem. <gasps> Back should stay the same, and then cross left threshold. Oh, man. With logic and persistence and a little bit of guesswork. <laughs> awesome. Cool. I think that is it for today. Um, we can save the 90 degree cube rotation on the bottom side of the map or tomorrow. But thank you all for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about rotations. Um, this is starting to get a little bit messy. Oh, wait, before we go. Oh, clean up. Oof. That is messy, buddy. Test degree. Are you kidding me? What an awful name. Uh, let's change this to... Rotator... Rotation amount. Um, no, let's call this something different. Current rotation amount. And let's move that. Where should we put that? Let's put that into our rotating area. <coughs> awesome. Well, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming.
To do, consider generalizing ease. Two, done. Hope, all, hope you all had a good time, and I will see you tomorrow.